Lord, I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? We are under commanding General Yohanna. If it's not under commanding General Yohanna, it's not the truth, you understand? And we've been bringing this up since 1969, that blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are the true biblical Jews of the Bible, man. And that colonizer, who the world calls the pilgrim, he is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Listen, we gotta, we gotta know some black men, black women. And when I say black, I'm talking about our Hispanic, our native brothers, our, our, uh, we, we talking about all of us right now when, when we say black, you understand? Do we not know that friendship with this world makes us an enemy to the Lord, man? Like, do we know that? Do we know that by being friends to this world, we become an enemy to the Most High God himself, man? Let's get into the scriptures. Let me get James 4 and 4, brother Kishore. This is in the Bible, man. Everybody think that the Most High is so sweet, he's all loving, you know, he ain't got no feelings, we can do whatever we want, all we gotta do is believe in him. That's not what the Lord say, man. He said, if you're gonna be a friend to this world, and be of this world, and do the things that this world do, you now become my enemy, man. And these are not our words, we're gonna get it in the scripture, man. Let me know when you got that. You understand? Listen, we're not serving a weak, a weak God, man. We're serving the most high power, you understand? You got that? We're gonna get this in uh we're gonna get this in James chapter four and four, man. We can't be enemies to the Lord and think that we still gonna survive and, and, and flourish the way we're supposed to, man. We're gonna remain slaves and we're gonna remain at the bottom. You understand? You got that? Go ahead. This is James chapter four, verse four. Listen carefully, man. This is the Holy Bible. You ready? Ye adulterers! And adulteresses. They say, ye adulterers and adulteresses. How many people know what an adulterer is? How many people know what an adulteress is? An adulterer is pretty much like, in, in the physical sense, a man that sleeps with another man's wife. You understand? An adulteress is a woman who sleeps with any man outside of her husband. But listen what the Lord is saying right now. He said, you adulterers and adulteresses. In this context, He's talking about us. You know why? Because you know what we do? We leave our power, we leave our God, and we start to follow and serve other gods. He's calling us adulterers and adulteresses, you understand? Because we don't follow him. Keep going. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is in, is enmity with God? Listen, the Lord said, do you not, do you not know that being a friend to this world is enmity or opposition with God. If we want to be of this world, man, if we want to do the things of this world, if we want to vote, you understand? Voting makes us an enemy to the Lord, man. Do we not know that? Being a part of the LGBTQ community makes us an enemy to the Lord, man. Being a Christian makes us an enemy to the Lord, man. Being a Muslim makes us an enemy to the Lord, man. Read that again. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Listen, this is what this is the problem that we have right now, man. We have become enemies to the Most High Himself because we want to be friends to this world, man. This world is not equipped for us to be friends with it. You understand? We are supposed to come back and serve our power, the Most High Power, and keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. If we're not keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments, you know what we're becoming? We're going to keep saying it. We become an enemy, our enemy to the Lord, man. Any more on that? Go ahead. Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. He said, whosoever that's going to be a friend of this world is an enemy to the Lord. Black man and black woman, we got to stop being friends with this world, man. It's okay to stand out. We are better people than the people that we're trying to be like. You understand? 
We are better than the so-called the so-called white man. You understand? We are better than the Arab. We are better than the East Indian. We are better than the African. Why are we trying to be like them, man? Why are we trying to befriend them? That's not what the Lord called us to do, man. The Lord called us to be on top of all of the nations. Like right now, we should be we should be the ones passing laws and saying how we're going to run, how we going to uh, how, how the earth is going to run, man. But because we want to be friends with everybody, we want to be friends and we want to be a part of this system. Guess what? We want to be Democrat. We want to be Republican. We want to be an independent. You know what we need to be? We need to be an all should be gay. That's what we need, man. That's what we need. If you want power in this earth, man, join the eyes should be cut, man, and serve the Lord, man. Come back here and bear with your brothers and serve the Lord the way he said he should be served, man. Hey, drop that for me. Let me get uh, John 3.16. We're going to get some more in the scriptures. I'm quite sure there's a Christian out here so that they're saying to himself, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That, ain't that what we think? Ain't that what the Bible say? That God so loved the world that he figured out that he uh, gave his only uh, begotten son. So if that's the case, how are we supposed to not be friends with this world? You understand? We're going to find out in the scriptures. You got that? Go ahead. This is John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. What does world mean? What does the term world mean? Is the world everything? I mean, I'm enlightening everybody right now, man. The term world means age and or society. You understand? There are many worlds out here. Right now in Lexington Market, they'll say this is a different world than down over at uh, Fells Point. This is a different world than this over at Jewtown. You understand? Right now, we live in a different world here in front of Lexington Market than right down at the Inner Harbor. You understand? You got Sea World. You got the Animal World. You see what I'm saying? There are many different worlds. Let's say, for God so loved the world, go ahead. That he gave his only begotten son. Yeah, he gave his only begotten son. So now the question lies, if there are many worlds out here, what world did, did, did the Most High give his son for? You understand? Let me get, uh, hold on one second. What's that, Proverbs 25 to 17? Psalms 92, slide. We're going to get some more in the scripture, man, because these are the questions. These are the questions we should be asking ourselves. If world does not mean everything everything under the sky, you understand, if there are different worlds, we should be asking ourselves, who did, Christ, who did the Most High give his son for? What world did he give his son for? We're going to get in the scriptures. Go ahead. This is Psalms chapter 90, verse 2. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever... Thou hast formed the earth. They say before the mountains were brought forth, or before thou hast ever formed the earth. What is the earth? The earth is this thing that we're walking on, man. We're walking on the earth right now, you understand? The Lord said before these things were formed, go ahead. And the world. And the world. So what right now we're saying that the earth and the world are two completely different things, man. You understand? Again, world is age and or society. The earth is the thing that we're walking on right now. You understand? Keep going. Even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Listen, the Lord just distinguished the difference between the term world and earth, man. We're walking on the earth. The world, the world that the Lord is talking about in 316, guess what? That is not the entire earth, man. That is not the earth that we're walking on. Let me get uh, let me get Acts two and twenty one, brother Kajal. We're gonna see who the Lord is talking about, man. First John two and fifteen. We're gonna get some more of these scriptures, man, because the Lord is going to show you the world that he that he sent his son to die for, man, and it's not everybody. The Lord did not send his son to die for the same people that's oppressing us, man. Like, what sense do it make for someone to send a rescuer to the, to, to, to the pedophile and the kid that was hurt, man? Like, how do, you, how do you send someone for the murderer and the murder? You understand? It don't make sense. You got that? Good. This is 1 John chapter 2, 
Verse 15. Love not the world. It says love not the world. Go ahead. Neither the things that are in the world. Neither the things that are in the world, man. What is that saying? We should not be loving any world outside of our own, man. You understand? There is a difference. You understand? There is a difference in the worlds that we should be loving, man. And we should not be loving the world that we're loving right now. We're loving the world of our oppressor. That's the problem that we have, man. That's why right now, we all, we all running around here talking about voting right now, man. What in the hell is voting going to do for us, man? That is not the world we should be concerned with. We, could, we should be concerned with the world of our own, man. Like, do we not know that our babies are still dying in the streets? Like, the sister just got her head blown off, man. Clean off. In her house, man. After she called the police. That's because we're not there, man. That's because we're concerned about everybody else's world except our own, man. But guess what? When we're concerned with our own world, guess what? What happened to, Son well, what happened to Sonia Massey won't happen to another sister, man. Black women, we got to understand this. Like, black men are not your enemy. You understand? Black men are not your enemy. Black men are actually the only man that's going to protect you out here. You understand? That police, he actually went in the house with the intent to kill her, man. That wasn't no mistake. You understand? We didn't all see the video. That sister didn't charge him. You understand? But the problem is, because we love that well, he has the audacity to come in her house and kill her. He told her what, she was going, what he was going to do before he did it. You understand? Any more on that? Good. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him, man. And that's the problem that we have right now. The love of the Most High is not in most of us. You know why? Because we love this world too much, man. Who gives a damn about what Donald Trump is doing, man? Who gives a damn about what Joe Biden is doing, man? You know what we should be concerned about? We should be concerned about what we're doing with our, with, with, with our world, man. You understand? Do we not know that blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, we're dying at alarming rates, man? The, the, the city of Houston, the city of Houston had like something like, uh, what was it, like 40,000 uh, STD cases over in one weekend? Like, the city of Houston had damn near 40,000 people come up sick with STDs and stuff like that in one weekend, man. That's the world we need to be worried about, man. It's not a black man's world to have orgies, you understand? And threesomes, and foursomes, and illicit sex, you understand? That's not our world, man. All sexual deviancy must go, man. It's not a black man's world to sleep with other women outside of his waist, man. You understand? We should not be sleeping with, with our oppressor. Like a black man should never take a white woman. A black man should never take an African, you understand? That sister is for that black man. And if he don't if he don't want the sister, he got other tribes he can choose from, man. He got he got live. You look on this side, he got twelve different flavors we could that we could choose from, man. We ain't gotta choose outside our own world. Any more on that? What? We're going to get some more in the scripture, man, because listen, the world that the Most High was talking about in John, in, in, uh, in John 3.16, it wasn't the world that we think, man. It's the world of Israel, man. The, the sooner we know that, the sooner the better off we'll be, black man, you understand? And we at the should be catered to Israel School of the University of Practical Knowledge, coming straight out of John West 121st Street, Harlem, New York, under command of General Yohanna. If it's not under command of Jimmy Hanna, it's not the truth, man. Shalom, Baltimore. Yeah. 